what just happened in Aba is very, very sad. It just happened along Aba Uweri Road in Aba Abia State. And what it is is that three people, robbery suspects, who has been terrorizing the area, has been set ablaze by an angry mob, completely burned to death. Sad, very, very sad, unfortunate for just, I wouldn't say just, for robbery. They decided to be the judge, the jury. They judged these people instantly and issued punishment, and the punishment was capital. They burned them to death. Three, three hoping, three human beings. They just said them are blessed. Right. We'll give you details of what they did and what happened and where. But before then, we just give you a gentle reminder to remember to like this video, share it so that it will reach many people and will be helpful to them, even those who are planning to be robbers. And again, subscribe to our channel if you're here for the first time or if you haven't done so already. Now, the robbers were just operating on motorcycle and they are robbing POS operators, point of sale operators. You know what I mean? Because every 20 meters we find a POS operator in our bar and all over Nigeria. So these robbers usually operate on motorcycles and they're said to be robbing roadside traders also, fuel stations, KK operators, at uh, Foule, Umuimo, and the Kamalu streets in Aba area. So eyewitnesses said that um, the robbers were caught by irate youths after they had successfully robbed the POS operator and some shops in the area. And after robbing the POS operators and some shops, the robbers fled. And when people raised the alarm, some youths gave them a very hot pursuit. But they were knocked off their motorcycle by a moving vehicle. Accident. Because they were running for their lives and from the mob, they ran into a vehicle that down, knocked them off. So they, it made it easy and the youths caught up with them. And what did they do? They just set them ablaze. One had opposite a UBA bank, and the others were born to a Union Bank Junction and Star Pepper Mail. These boys have been robbing POS operators and shops. Today, Nemesis, as they say, caught up with them, and the eyewitnesses testified to what happened to these people. The situation caught, of course, heavy traffic jam along the Abawiri Road as people were, of course, uh, rushing to see what happened. Uh, you know, we are all spectators these days, taking photos and making videos out of it. That's what happened. But, um, of course, the mobile policemen came eventually and took control of the area. Even the mobile, uh, the public uh, relations officer of the Abia State Police Command, uh, Jeffrey Obunna, we tried to confirm this story and he has not been able to uh, confirm what happened. But this did happen. It did happen. And it's unfortunate. I want to raise a very important question now. What is the difference between what happened in Aba? and the killing and setting ablaze of Rebecca, uh, Deborah Samuel by irate Muslim mobs at the Sokoto State College of Education. She committed blasphemy by insulting Prophet Muhammad, and the people gave her instant judgment, stoned her to death, set her ablaze. In about these people, three of them are robbers. We have not heard that they operate with guns. They are just robbing POS, POS operators with their machine. They collect the money, they zoom off. They go to Flint Station, collect the money, run off. And if they see some traders, they pack their money, they run off on their motorcycle. 
They haven't shot anybody from all we know. They haven't killed anybody. And just for robbing money, they cut them. And out of anger, mob action, they set them ablaze. And they burned three human beings alive for stealing money. What is the difference between this action in Abba and what happened to Deborah Samuel? Nigerians have become judges in terms that actually should not be judged by them. They have become the police, they have become the court, they have become the executioners, killing human beings for whatever offense for that matter. I will throw another question. These people, do you think they stole one million? I don't think so. Whatever they did will be thousands, maybe maximum 100, 200,000, 300. What is the punishment we should give to politicians that steal billions? What should we do to them? If we bond them as we bond these people, their punishment might be too light because they operated in billions. This is a question that we have to ask ourselves. And Nigerians should stop killing people. This is my own opinion. No? They should stop killing people like they are flies. Whether they robbed, whether they do this or that. That is why they have laws and they have judges and they have courts and they have lawyers. Let them be judged and if they are found guilty, go on and go to prison and serve their sentence. Robbing somebody a couple of amounts of money, I don't think is worth killing somebody by burning him alive. And sometimes mistakes could be made. In Lagos, a vehicle knocked down some Nama and the Fulani headers started to argue about payment, paying for the car that was killed. In the process, they started to chase the driver and the conductor. Do you know what they did? They stabbed somebody to death. And the, the person they stabbed to death, they thought he was the conductor of the vehicle that killed their cow. But unfortunately, they killed the wrong person. This is food for thought. Because out of mob action, the wrong justice can be delivered. This is food for thought. And we'll bring this to an end here. But please, kindly, just as we are reminding you now gently, like this video, share it among your friends and families and contacts.